channel data bi sql so in uh, today's video right uh, we will uh, continue with a little bit of complex interview question i would say medium to hard complex interview question and this gets asked in um, uh, most of the fang companies right like fang as in amazons and facebook and googles of the world right uh, this gets especially asked for senior data engineers senior uh, data architects senior business intelligence engineer uh, right um, engineering manager uh, business intelligence manager uh, senior bie senior business managers right i mean uh, uh, this is very uh, common uh, method of asking a question right i mean functions like rank and uh, uh, some and all these kind of functions definitely gets asked. I mean that concept definitely gets covered. Okay, so I would request you to please pay attention to my uh, video and I hope that helps you clear the interview, right? So let's get uh, on with the table. So the, so basically we are talking about the restaurant management system here. So a typical restaurant, right? I mean just uh, take a favorite restaurant right, and try and imagine this data. So maybe McDonald's or Burger King or Olive Garden, right? Um, uh, just, uh, just, just uh, imagine because every restaurant or every fast food chain has orders and menus, right? So, uh, and then I will uh, put a create table and insert table scripts in the description of the video, right? So please uh, copy paste from there, put it in Postgres, and then you should be able to see the data that I am seeing. Okay. So if you see the orders table, right? The order tables has order ID, the customer who placed the order, the menu, the item that was ordered and the quantity of that menu item. So the menu item from orders table joins to the menu item of menu table, right? Menu ID of menu table. So basically if you see order number one had menu ID one, which is basically appetizer, the garlic bread, right? So basically 599, the quantity was two, right? So basically uh, uh, if you see the order total order, right? I mean, he ordered two quantities uh, with each garlic bread uh, with a price of 599, right? So the question that they are asking is to find top five orders based on highest total amount spent on that order. So basically they are saying that give me the top five orders, right? So the order is coming from the order table, right? Based on the highest total amount spent on the order. So if you see the order table, do you have, do they have the uh, amount spent mentioned here? No, they have the quantity. And then menu ID has the price, right? As we just saw. So menu ID has a price. So menu ID is basically uh, has price 599. But for that order one, how many quantities that person ordered? Two, right? So basically your order value will become 599 into two. That is 1198, right? So that means the total amount spent on the order number one is 1198, right? So we need to find out. So if you see there are 21 uh, orders, I think, we need to find out top five out of that, right? Based on the highest order value, right? So we will need to find out. So, so in order to do that, what we need to do first, we need to find out by order, what are the amounts spent, right? And then we can figure out how to filter out top five from there, correct? So let's write a query. So what we need to do, we need to first join these tables, right? Oh, and let's name menus as M, okay? And what is the common, uh, uh, this thing here, the key here, menu ID, right? Dot menu ID, right? And here, what are they asking for? Order ID. And then we need to do sum, right? Because we need to multiply the quantity, right? O dot quantity into m dot price right that is what is going to give you the okay so the, since we are using uh, the aggregate function sum we need to use group by right and we do need the data by order right so we need to do a group by okay let's group by So we got the order, right? So one for order number one, what did we see? We saw it was 11.98, correct? So it's correct. Now let's look at this. Let's just uh, order this data correctly, right? Order by, let's just say this total amount spent, correct? Okay. 
okay and we want to do descending so that because they asked for top 5 right top 5 value so you have $80 that are spent on order ID 20 then 19 the 17 13 and 14 right 27.98 right so these are the top 5 orders we are looking for right so we got the first data set now we need to figure out how are we going to you know get the data set right top 5 so for that there is a function called rank so what rank will do is it will rank um, uh, each of these rows 1 2 3 4 5 right and we need to pick the top 5 okay so let's just write a rank function here okay rank over so order by right because uh, so sometimes partition by also come but partition by we don't need here why because the order id we are already partitioning by right partitioning by is what is group by right we are doing it so we don't need to put it okay order by what we need to do is we need to order by this right this entire data correct so sum of here we don't need to put alias then we say descending right because we, have, we want a data of descending just like we did descending here we need to do descending here right order by <coughs> this descending okay as rank of total amount spent correct so if we are going to do this order by oh we need to have a uh, comma here right because it's a different column okay so now if you see it is ranking it properly right one two three four five right twenty seven point nine eight right so this is the order we saw right twenty nineteen seventeen thirteen fourteen right so if you see here it is ranked properly now if you remove the descending right what happens what will happen is if you remove descending it will basically give you the lowest order as number one rank okay let's just remove this descending because it is ascending because it is giving data by descending right in the down so let's say if they are say if they would have asked give me the the top five orders based on the lowest amount spent right because you also want to know where the which customers are spending the lowest amount and ordering lowest amount of quantity or right so that can be done as well so here if you see these five orders qualify for the lowest amount, right? Correct. That's so we remove the ascending part. Correct. But question is top five based on the highest amount, right? So what we need to do here is so this is basically top five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Now they are asking top five only, right? So what you will do is you can can you write where rank is equal to uh, less than six or less than equal to five no right that is not going to work and i have covered this in other videos so i request you to please look at other videos as well where you cannot just put rank function here it's not going to work so what you need to do is you need to make this as a table okay and then pull out the data from the table okay so let's say say this table is x okay and then select from this table okay so what they are asking is select oh, x dot order id and x dot total amount spent okay and here you will say where rank of total amount spent is equal to less than six right so you can say less than or equal to five or you can say less than a six right it's one and the same thing okay so if we run this okay here also we need to do from right because we are treating this as a table correct okay so you got your data okay this is 80 right 43 33 29 27 top 5 orders okay <coughs> So this is your answer right so basically what we learned here we learned many concepts here first we learned a subquery 
because in order to do the rank we had to put this as a table and we made this as a sub query sub query is one concept second concept is a rank right to get out with the top five records third is sum right the the windows function right to sum the data first right um, and then uh, do multiplication of two columns from two different tables right and then finally applying a filter through where clause to get the required result set right so we learned so many concepts here right so that's why this qualifies for the medium to complex interview question uh, right because this is this is not a small query right you need to think through you need to write a sub query then you need to write a rank right uh, so that's why this is kind of considered as medium to complex interview question okay so i believe uh, this was very helpful to you guys if this was the case right uh, i request you to please subscribe to my channel like my videos right i a lot of hard work goes into creating this content coming out of the questions right and uh, guiding you through the right uh, approach right uh, that also takes time right uh, and covering all the concepts right that they ask in the interview question so i uh, sincerely request you guys to please like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you